Hey guys, Jezza here again, and today I want to show you a few three stars from our last war. We had a family war between the Raided and Phantom Zone, and I had three Town Hall 10 versus 10 three stars, so I'm going to show those. Um, two of them were by air, as most three stars are. Uh, in the current state of the game, most of your Town Hall 10 versus 10 is going to be a Laloon or some or some sort of a Queen Walk Dragon or something like that. But we also had one by ground, so I'm going to show that as well. So this base here is really compact and it has, to me, the big mistake with this base is putting these Inferno Towers very close together. So you can print, you can handle them all at once. Um, so Rub Days from our from the clan, he did a nice little entry here from the backside, and you'll see it here in a second. He used the bitch attack, which is the bowler witch combo. So with golems as well, so it was a go bitch, and he came from the back. And it's really nice as far as for him the way this base was laid out. There's really no bombs or anything you can see from the back so he just exploited that and wrecked the whole base and then just dealt with the the inferno towers at the end and as you can see this is a pretty leveled up base so if someone makes the mistake of of giving you a compacted base like this that you can you can access this is a really nice strategy for it so i'm gonna go ahead and hit play he's gonna start here uh at between like one and two with the golems go ahead and put his witches down the witches will start to kind of create this funnel and he's got his bowlers there as well pushing everything towards kind of a I guess two 130 entry right there on the base he's gonna get all these bowlers down and then he gets the jump down now that he's created the funnel Gonna put his heroes down, CC bowlers, just a lot of stuff coming out there. Gets the poison down, a nice heal spell there to combat uh, the CC damage, and then he gets the rage down. And he's already wrecked 40% of this base, and I see a lot of bowlers there. So he's just kind of walking, walking over the base. Gets the second jump down, gets the set, the town hall down, and then he's still got this rage and all those bowlers. Um, the other mistake on this base to me is, uh, I as a Town Hall 10, I don't really see pretty much any time where you would want to put your Inferno Tower on single target. Uh, it just doesn't really help you at this at Town Hall 10. Now, I've seen some effective use of it at Town Hall 11 from time to time, depending on the base, especially when people were running ring bases because if you were trying, if it was a base you needed to Queen Walk then really the only thing you could do was um, if you got if you got caught in that inferno and you didn't have the ability you're pretty much done if you didn't have the foresight to bring a uh, freeze a free spell so but yeah I wouldn't I would not run inferno towers on single target but really nice job here by rub on this base uh, congrats to him that was a solid uh, Solid three star form there. So the next hit is over here by Merc City, and this hit was beautiful. Beautiful attack, a nice air attack. He's got a Laloon with a uh, shattered entry with the golems, and then a bowler kill squad in the CC, and got some baby drags down to funnel, some wizards as well to clear out some of these big buildings. Drops the queen. Test wall breaker down, and then a couple more wizards goes ahead and puts the other wall breakers down and busts into the base. King goes down. He's really built a nice wide funnel for himself. Gets that jump, perfect jump placement. The queen's right there. He's gonna get the queen with the king here. Go ahead and rage up his kill squad. The queen goes to work. He's gonna get this inferno tower here on the front end, I believe. Yep, got the Inferno Tower on the front end. And he got a couple air defenses as well as all the sweep, well, one of the sweepers. So now that he got the sweeper out of the way, um, 
this sweeper is facing that way. So he's going to deploy from this side from between 6 and 9 o'clock with his hounds and loons. And that way he never has to really encounter the sweeper. So really nice job here. And he destroys this base. It was There were so many loons left at the end of this attack. It was, it was a really pretty attack. So. so he gets the haste in. He's gotten the whole back side of the base here. He's just got the one Inferno Tower. Still got a, a Rage and a Freeze. Drops the Freeze. Perfect deployment there. And then he's going to use his Rage to Rage into the Inferno Towers. And then he's just got way too many loons. The last Hound pops there. And that is just, that's a pretty attack right there. So all those loons, are, he's still got a couple in the bag that he'll drop down here for cleanup to help speed up the process. But just a really beautiful hit here and definitely uh, needed to be shown. So great job there, Merc City. I'll go ahead and fast forward this to, through the cleanup. But I mean, there's got to be 10 or 12 loons left plus all the pups. Really good job there. And then lastly, I'll show this attack here by nine. I've featured nine on here a lot before. He is a really sick hitter. So on this base, I hit this base first before, before nine, and he basically used the same entry that I did, but he beefed up his kill squad. So I took just the CC bowlers, a couple of uh, golems, and I came in here from like the nine o'clock entry and then put a jump down here kind of by this uh, storage to try to take out these three air defenses because that's the weakness in the base and get the queen. I was able to do that, but the problem with my hound loon deployment was I started and came in here at this cannon and all of the, the air traps for the, pretty much the entire base are right beside this cannon. So nine switched it up and did the same entry but with a heavier quick kill squad so he could take out more and then he came in from like one o'clock 12 between 12 o'clock and one o'clock with his hound to get that last air defense there and then by the time the the air traps popped he was already at the very end of the base so nice nice deployment here you'll get to check it out right now so he puts the golem down a baby drag over here to tank I mean, not to tank, to, to funnel. He puts some bowlers down over there on the side to c continue to create his funnel. And then the king and the queen and the rest of the bowlers are just going to kind of march in there and make a natural funnel. Everything's going the right way. He gets his poison down, gets the rage down, and there's a lot of bowlers about to get under rage. And it really clears things out. So he's got both air, two air, all three air defenses down already. He's about to get the queen. He gets that sweeper down, which was big because that that causes pathing problems. And then he goes in from the top with his two hounds and his loons. So he's going to take out that air defense, freeze the inferno. And he'll get that down real quick here. And then he does a great job with the heel on the back side of this, on the, the end of this raid here, right around in the area where this wizard tower is. He's going to drop a heel and get all of these loons healed back up. And it was really nicely played. So yeah, he drops this heel, gets the benefit of that on all of those loons, gets them all healed back up. Gets the Hound to pop by the Inferno Tower, so awesome on that. Again, that one was set to single target, which you don't want because you can overpower that. And there's all, all of those air traps right there. So he waited till the end, till he got to that, so that and dropped another poison to take care of them. But that really helped him because he didn't have to deal with those air traps until the very end of the raid when he'd already taken out all the fences. So really smart attack really well played by nine so i wanted to show you guys that as well so anyway just wanted to bring that to you guys today show you some town hall 10 on 10 three star action uh the rated's really 
doing some good things, getting better. We've gotten some new recruits. We're real excited. Trying to build a better roster so we can continue to do bigger wars and maybe look at season three in the CWL as far as applying to that. So got some good things going over there. If anyone is interested in joining, I'll put the link in the description. You can go and apply uh, at, at uh, theclashfiles.com. We are looking for Town Hall 9s with 2020 heroes plus, and we are looking for Town Hall 10s with at least 30 30 heroes. And Town Hall 11s, it's kind of negotiable as far as your heroes, but we're a clan that we, we want to grow together, we want to get better, we're not expecting perfection when you get there, we'll, we'll work with you, but um, we do want you to have a war mi mindset if you decide to apply uh, and we will give you a shot over there we uh, we just opened a new clan uh, the wall for kind of overflow because we just have so many folks that are are joining the rated so there's room for for all so if you're interested go ahead and apply we would love to have you but until next time thank you guys so much for watching this video um, this this video has been rated tested and it is Jezza approved I'm out